So to start the rebuild, <clears throat> this 400L Polaris, what you're going to want to do is make sure you get the old crankshaft bearings out. We're going to leave this one in here for the counterbalance shaft. Uh, it still turns just fine. This one here, you want to make sure you pawn that one out as well. I just heated up the case half and just tapped on the other side and it, it came right out. <clears throat> so we were able to pull this apart. If you look back at another video of the disassembly, we were able to pull the case halves apart while leaving the counterbalance shaft in there. And so it'll help make reassembly a lot easier. So what we'll do today, I'm going to show you what bearings I bought. I bought brand new Polaris bearings for the crankshaft. I'll show you how to heat the cases and seat those in there. So the bearings needed for the left side is a... Uh, 0600320030 and then there's a 0600320040 and the bearings are pretty much the same the only difference is the 30 you can see that inner race kind of has more of a squared edge whereas the inner race on the on the 40 as kind of a beveled edge. Now if you have to shim your crankshaft with any shim here that's going to end up riding against this bearing between this bearing and the and the edge of your crankshaft. So we'll start with this one we'll get the bearing seated in there. Start heating the case halves. Probably a good idea to throw your bearings in the freezer until they're good and cold. So to heat up this case half, I'm just going to use this 1500 watt heat gun and uh, heat it up until the bearing slides in. Grab your bearings for the left side. So I was heating it up for probably about a good five minutes. <clears throat> then what you want to do, basically just place your bearing in there. And uh, it should sink down all the way to the bottom. So that one's in there. Then you'll go ahead and put your tapered one. You'll do the same thing. I'll just slide it down in there. And I'm just going to... Tap on it a little bit to make sure it's in there, but uh, there you go. One side's done, and then we'll heat the other one up and do the same thing. So here we have the right side. <clears throat> you can see the new bearing here. It doesn't fit down in there. So we'll throw some heat on it. For again, probably about 5-10 minutes, and we'll drop this right in. I'm gonna go to your freezer, grab the bearing for the right side. All right, with the cave case half plenty warm and your bearing freezing cold, you should be able to just slide it right in. You can tap on it if you want. But it's in place. So there you have it. Left side, both bearings installed. I threw a little oil in there after getting them seated. Same here, the right side, bearing fully installed. Again, threw a little oil in there. So the next step is going to be to measure the crankshaft end play. And I'll show you how to do that here in another video.